Coach Woodson, his question earlier, I'm curious to get uh, your take on it. Uh, like on Saturday, you know, you were on the floor 26 minutes before you got your first shot, 28 before you made one. And I was asking him about it. I mean, are there sets or actions or screens away from the ball that can get you opportunities to get more open looks with shots? And he just basically said, oh, just part of the offense and guys aren't leaving you. But but what is, is there anything that you need to do more or, or is part of the offense is more to get you better looks? Um, you know, I feel like I'm trying to do, uh, you know, everything I can, um, you know, cause at the end of the day, um, you know, the offense revolves around, you know, trace and, and, uh, you know, Fino now at the ball screens and stuff too. So for me, you know, there's, there's nothing more I can do. You know, I watch film, you know, with the coaches all the time about, um, you know, where I could, you know, hopefully, you know, get more shots or, um, in terms of my spacing, in terms of, you know, how I move without the ball and how I move off of other, um, you know, guys driving and kicking and, and, you know, just giving giving guys good angles and, you know, potential opportunities for me to, um, you know, get open looks. But, um, no, I mean, I, I, I really doing everything I can to try to get open looks and, and uh, you know, be able to shoot the ball because, you know, that's what I do best. And so, um you know, I'm always looking for for opportunities to, um, you know, get open looks because that's 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 what I do best. So I'm all I'm just definitely trying to do that. Wilson Miller, on a similar note to that, when you have a game like the um, like the other day, how do you how do you stay in a rhythm? How do you kind of stay in things when you're not um, consistently taking shots? Well, I mean, just just focusing on. Uh, you know, defense and being a great, you know, team defender, um, you know, you can get lost in the game, uh, you know, on the defensive end and, and um, you know, it may not show up in the box score, but just being vocal, being a leader out there in terms of, you know, what we're trying to do defensively and, um, you know, talking the whole possession and, um, you know, leading guys and, and making sure everybody's where they're at and where I'm supposed to be. Um, so that's kind of how I stay kind of really into the game. But as far as my shot and like when I get a shot, you know, 28 minutes into a game, um, you know, I don't really think of it. I just if I see some daylight, it's going up. And so, um, you know, I put, I put the work in outside of, um, you know, practice and stuff. And, and uh, I feel like, you know, if I get a shot at the end of the game or, you know, right at the start of the game, I feel good about it. So. Tyler. Hey Miller, I uh, hope you're doing well. Um, I know before the season you had talked about basically just knowing that this is your last season in college, like taking some of the pressure off yourself. I guess how how do you feel like that is kind of manifested this season? Like, do you feel like you're playing more freely without as much pressure? How would you just kind of evaluate how that mindset change has helped you? Yeah, no, I'm I'm just playing free. Um, you know, I, I realize that you know basketball. I've given so much of my life to this game. Um, you know, and, and sacrifice so much to get here, to get at Indiana and, you know, earlier to, to make it to Northwestern and then make it here. And, um, you know, I realized that, you know, at the end of the day, it's just a game um, and I love it and, you know, work at it every single day. And, and I'm always thinking about it, always trying to improve and, um, you know, but it, it is, um, it's something that you can't put all of your chips into in terms of mentally, emotionally, because there's there's ups and there's, and there's downs, um, you know, and you can't control a lot of what happens in the game, but you know you can control your your mindset and and how you think of how you think of things um, when they happen, how you respond. And so for me, um, this season I'm just playing free and 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 you know playing my role. Like after the game, um, what was it? Uh, after the game against uh, who we just play Wisconsin, um, you know I was walking down the bench. The you know the horn went off, and you know you know one of the GAs said you know way to play your role, you know, and that was it. You know it, it, it kind of put into perspective again, like shoot my roles, you know, not to come off and, and shoot twenty times a game. My role is to help the team win, and so um, you know I got a shot when when we needed it, and I made it, and and that's my role, that's my job. So um, you know it's about you know, accepting what's in front of me and, and making the most of it. Alex? Miller, thank you for the time. We appreciate it. I'm curious if you can pinpoint 
uh, the, the three previous games in Wisconsin, I think you guys gave up at least 83, 84 points every game. You kind of looked at the points per possession. They were all pretty high uh, compared to last season. And then against Wisconsin, you only give up 45. What was maybe missing in those three games that, that you did well against Wisconsin? And how can you kind of carry that forward to kind of make that more? Obviously, you're not going to hold every team to 45, but it feels like Coach Woodson wants you guys more playing lower scoring games and just trying to beat teams by holding them in the eighties. Yeah. I mean, the biggest thing for us was our sense of urgency. Um, you know, we came into the game with obviously our backs against the wall and we know we needed to, um, you know, come out and defend and that's our calling card. And that's what we, um, you know, had success in last year. And so we just needed to, to come out with a sense of urgency, um, defensively and set the tone there first. And then, you know, the rest of the game would fall in the place where it, where it should. So um, that was really the focus that we had uh, because game plan is game plan stuff. But uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's about the Jimmy's and Joe's, not the X's and O's. So. Todd. Miller, can you illustrate what the adjustment period was like without Xavier and race in the lineup? Did it take a couple games to get used to, playing without them what was that like internally oh well we're I mean we're still in that adjustment period I'll tell you that much right now um you know those losing those two guys and for me you know as a shooter you know as a guy who um you know relies on um you know the the offense and the system um and the the guys point guard you know to find me um it it I I mean I shoot I miss x you know, I miss race too. So it, it's one of those things where, um, you know, I felt that impact, you know, pretty, pretty quickly just as a shooter. Um, but, you know, it's something we're still, we're still going through. I mean, you know, every day in practice, you know, it's going to be a, um, we're going to hopefully inch closer and closer to, uh, you know, where we want to be in terms of playing without those guys. But um, yeah, it's just, it, it's not, it's not ideal, but um, you know, you lose two guys like that to play 30 minutes a game. It's, there's going to be, a, there's going to be some bumps. I mean, that's just the reality. You look at any other team in the country who loses, you know, two, you know, main guys, it's, it's tough, but, um, it, it's really for us about figuring out how we can maximize what we have right now. And that's what we're doing. Last question from Mike. Yeah, Miller, you, you talked about playing with more intensity against Wisconsin. Um, I'm, I'm curious if you've noticed a difference in the way Coach Woodson and the staff is going about practice with this team to kind of try to pull that out of you guys. Uh, well, I think it's, it's you know, we've all got it inside of us, um, you know, because we've had some, you know, very um, competitive days of practice. But, you know, I think what they've what they've done – uh, recently has kind of let us compete more in practice. Um, even though, you know, we just went through a crazy stretch of um, of games and, and we're about to go into another one, you know, still, you know, we still practice hard. Um, you know, we still practice really hard and, and, and um, you know, go live and, and um, you know, this, it's, it's, you know, all gas, no breaks pretty much. But um, uh, that's kind of one of the, one of the biggest differences I've seen. And uh, yeah. All right. Thanks, Miller. Appreciate it. Thanks, Miller.